Hmm. The Moberly Sports Center looks like a good fit. We'd probably have to book a two-hour session regardless of where we hold the match. Hmm. 135 pounds is very doable. You have any others? Seymour Leisure Center. Hmm. I've never been, but I've heard good things. And it looks like it's slightly cheaper, which is always a plus. But they close oh, an hour earlier than... Kaysen, language! <laughs> like you don't swear, Mr. T. <laughs> they, they close at six instead of seven, but I don't think we'll be there that late if we book around two to three. How many more venues do you have? Wow, you've been busy. We just uh, finished the set, so I'm gonna go to the bathroom. All right. Okay, let's take a ten minute break. Could you put those in my office? I'll have a look at them after I'm done with this lot. Jesus. Oh, it's you. You scared the hell out of me. I thought you were Mr. Taylor. So it was a little white lie. They can go on without me for a minute. See? If they're taking a break, there's nothing to worry about. If I needed the bathroom, I wouldn't take my shirt with me. I gotta play the part to make it believable. Why? Do you like what you see? Uh-huh, sure. You totally weren't staring at me during practice. <laughs> you don't have to lie to me. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Keep telling yourself that. If you like looking at me, just admit it. Or... Is that why you're here? Did you come to find me? Oh... Right. You're looking for venues for the next match. Nice! Looks like you got a lot. You really take your work seriously, huh? Nah, not me. I know I still gotta pass some classes to finish the year, but volleyball is what I need to focus on. I'm in here because he took my cigarettes and lighter and I'm getting them back. I don't care if they're not good for me, they're my damn cigarettes. I can make my own decisions. Yeah, I know he cares and wants what's best, but I want to make mistakes my way. I'm looking as fast as I can. But if you're that worried about me, you can keep watch. I was kidding. Kind of. I only have a couple more places to look, and if I can't find them, I'll leave. You're such a goody-goody. You should relax every once in a while. Let the wind take you wherever it blows. Well, if it means breaking the rules, then count that as a happy mistake instead. I laugh in the face of danger. Ha ha ha. <laughs> I've watched that movie so much I know it word for word. It's a good movie, but I'm not the one who puts it on. Uh, that's not good. Get in here. Just get in here! Shh! Stop moving around! Didn't you say they were on a break? Oh. I think it's Alex. From what I've heard, he's not doing so good. I don't gossip. The volleyball team are my boys. Yeah, we're like family. Now shh. What brand are you wearing? The fragrance, I mean. I'm just saying, you smell nice. What? It's not like I can move back. I'm taking up more space in here. 
You're the one leaning against me. Well, nothing would have happened if Mr. T found you, but now we're here in this cramped but cozy space. This is the closest we've ever been. I can feel your breath. Hey, don't try to move. Look, rest your head to the side. Because your neck looks crooked. So what if it's on my arm? Just do it. Better? Good. Yeah, it is getting a little hot. If I said it was because of you, what would you do? No, you can't blame me. I can feel your heartbeat, you know. Yeah. Can you feel mine? <laughs> Don't act like you can't. You're feeling it too, right? I can literally feel the heat coming off you. Hey, I said stop moving. You want to get caught? Ah, is that why? You nervous or excited about getting caught? I mean, all he has to do is look through the grate for a few seconds to see us in here. He might think I ran off to do something more fun and brought you with me. Well, half of that is true, but I wouldn't mind making the other half come true as well. Oh, your heart just sped up. Well, you had no reason to hide, but this is way more fun. Hey, maybe this is your first happy mistake. Sure, I might get punished for this, but it'll be so worth it. What are they gonna do to me? Kick me off the volleyball team? You need to let loose a little. Well, if we both had our shirts off, I think we'd have a problem. I'm not gonna lie and say I haven't, you know, imagined what you look like without one. Hmm. So you can stare at me all you want, but I can't think about you. I always do. You usually sit in front of me in history, and I see you around campus when we don't have classes. There was one time you, uh, you forgot your umbrella and came in looking like... I, I can't even describe it, but how you looked should have been illegal. Don't you get it? I think you're hot. Because I do. I always have. You have your friends and I have mine. We barely talk, so I figured I'd just be a wallflower. Well, now you know. So, having you this close to me is a little difficult. All I want to do is kiss you. Yeah, right now. You want me to? The way you're looking at me makes me think you want one. So, can I? <laughs> you're secretly an exhibitionist, aren't you? I bet being a teacher's pet is just a disguise. It's nice to see this side of you. But you gotta hold your voice back. It'll be your fault if we get caught. Just keep your head where it is. <clears throat> your neck looks beautiful in this light. It's like it's showing me where to kiss. Mm. I think I'll start here. Okay. 
you're still in your first term, so you need to be so cautious or try and accommodate you as much as you can. I'm just scared that when my parents find out, I won't be home to stay with their friends. Your breathing is all over the place. Breathe in. Breathe out. There you go. This is a first for me too, so... I think they're gone. Too bad I can kiss you a little more. Well, I think we should stay in here, just in case he comes back. I don't know, he can be forgetful. He might need a pen or some papers or something. Yeah, but you don't want to risk it, do you? I stand corrected. I don't want to risk it. Because if he comes back in just as we're getting out of the locker, he's going to blame me for it, not you. Hey, I only play volleyball, not people. That's not the kind of guy I am. Yeah, I check you out. And you check me out. So we're technically as bad as each other. And that's nothing to be ashamed about. You just don't want to say you're interested. Hmm, okay. So, you regret me kissing your neck? Hmm? What was that? I didn't hear you. I thought so. Because I know I heard you saying I could. And then I remember you leaning into it. And you were trying so hard to move away from me before, but when I started kissing you, it was like you wanted to... You're getting embarrassed. I'm only saying what happened. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. I don't think Mr. T's coming back, and there's no way he's gonna believe I went to the toilet after this. It was worth it. Ah, God, I thought I was gonna melt in there. <sighs> Looks like you did. You're sweating a little. What? It was fun, wasn't it? You can't even deny it. You were totally in the moment. We should do it again sometime. Maybe when we're not eavesdropping on someone's personal problems. You should fix your collar before you leave. You look like you just woke up. I proudly take all the blame. I can just buy more cigarettes later. I like that lighter though. Well, I guess I'll see you around. Maybe class? Maybe practice? Say hi to me instead of staring next time, alright? Okay. Bye.